In World War I, a young Hercule Poirot devises a strategy to advance his Belgian infantry company, but a booby trap mutilates his face. His fiancée, Nurse Catherine, does not recoil, but says he will grow a mustache to hide his scars. In 1937 at a London club, Poirot watches as blues singer Salome Otterburn performs. He notices Jacqueline Jackie de Belafort is there with her fiancé Simon. Doyle, Jackie's childhood friend, Aris Lynette Ridgway, soon arrives. After meeting Simon, Lynette agrees to hire him as her estate agent. Six weeks later, in Egypt, Poirot encounters his friend Balkan Bach's mother, Euphemia, an artist. Balk invites Poirot to join them at the hotel to celebrate the wedding of a surprising couple, Lynette and Simon. Others join their honeymoon trip, Lynette's maid, Louise Bauerget, Salome and her niece manager, Rosalie, Lynette's school friend, Lynette's godmother, Marie Van Schuyler with her nurse, Mrs. Bowers, Lynette's financial manager and cousin, Andrew Kajadorian, and Dr. Linnisay Winlisham. Lynette asks Poirot for protection from the obsessive Jackie, who has stalked the couple to Egypt. Poirot cannot dissuade Jackie, who shows him she carries a gun. To escape Jackie, the group boards the cruise ship SS Karnak. Lynette tells Poirot she distrusts her guests. During an excursion to Abu Simbel, Balk reveals he is dating Rosalie, despite his mother's disapproval, Poirot finds himself attracted to Salome. After a battler falls off a column and nearly crushes Lynette and Simon, the guests return to the Karnak to discover Jackie has boarded. Poirot, affected by champagne, confides to Jackie that he renounced romance after Catherine died in a mortar explosion. Lynette goes to bed and Simon confronts Jackie, who shoots him in the leg. When she attempts to shoot herself, Rosalie and Bauk intervene. They take Jackie to Mrs. Bowers, while Windlisham arrives to treat Simon. The following morning, Louise discovers Lynette has been fatally shot. In the head and her valuable necklace stolen. Poirot, assisted by Simon and Bauk, interrogates the guests, who each bear a grudge against Lynette or would benefit from her death. Louise's engagement was ended by Lynette, who distrusted Louise's fiancé. Windlisham was engaged to Lynette until she left him for Simon. Andrew was embezzling from Lynette. Bowers' formerly wealthy family was ruined by Lynette's father during the Great Depression. Van Schuyler is a beneficiary of Lynette's will. She and Bowers are lovers. Salome was the target of Lynette's racist remarks, years ago. Euphemia finds Lynette's necklace. Poirot suspects she resented Lynette for introducing Bout to Rosalie. Jackie was monitored by Bowers all night. Her gun is dredged from the Nile, wrapped in Van Schuyler's missing scarf. And a bloody handkerchief. Poirot reveals that Euphemia hired him to investigate Rosalie, whom, he concludes, is more than worthy of her son's affection. Rosalie, angry at being investigated, storms off and discovers Louise's body, her throat slit. Louise is found with money, so Poirot suspects that she witnessed Lynette's murder and blackmailed the killer. He sees a possible witness outline in the blood spatter. Interrogating back with Simon. Poirot deduces that Bauk found Lynette dead and stole her necklace to gain financial freedom from his mother, but panicked and put it in Euphemia's belongings. Bauk witnessed Louise's murder, but before revealing the killer, he is shot dead. Poirot chases the killer, but only finds the abandoned gun. Locking the surviving guests in the boats. Saloon, Poirot reveals that Simon killed Lynette, with Jackie as his accomplice and the mastermind. They are still lovers and arrange Simon's romance with Lynette to inherit her wealth. Jackie drugged Poirot's champagne and pretended to shoot Simon with a blank. Simon faked his injury with paint stolen from Euphemia. While Jackie distracted back in Rosalie, Simon killed Lynette and, returning to the saloon, shot his own leg, muffled by Van Schuyler's scarf. Jackie killed Louise with Winmalisham's scalpel, and back with Andrew's gun. Faced with Poirot's irrefutable proof, Jackie embraces Simon and shoots him through the back, killing them both with one shot. As the passengers disembark, Poirot was unable to voice his feelings to Salome six months later, Poirot visits her club to watch her rehearse, sitting alone in the dark and unrecognized by the club owner due to his clean-shaven face. Please like comment and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching the video please press the bell icon to get notification of my new videos.